New Age Tactical back with another video. Knife! So. New Age I guess we should preface it a little. They've already seen the thumbnail. They know what they're here for. <laughs> no, but why we got this though? We fell in love with the Zancudo. And everyone said on the Zancudo review, uh, video was pick up. The honey badger. Honey badger, don't give a f So I, I splurged a little bit, got the D2. Um, $55. I wouldn't say splurging, but... Yeah, yeah. higher mean, budget. First off, it comes in this cool... Get, what does it say? Gift box? Oh, it's got the magnet, though. Yeah. <gasps> honey badger don't care. Oh, shit. I broke the box, though. Son of a bitch. Honey badger don't care. I like it. They should have just put don't give a f Though. I know. So this is the small. I guess there's a medium and a large. Then you can get them in Tonto, Claw. And you went drop point? I went drop point, yeah, just because, oh, you know, that's kind of our style. Really cool. We have not seen this yet. It comes with a torch bit to, to loosen and tighten the screws. That is nice. Oh, they're super small. Oh, one's, okay, two sizes. All right. I like. All right. So... Let's get into it. Flip very, tab. very. Flipper tab. Very smooth. Liner lock. I'm not going to lie. Maybe medium. I would have went with. It's, oh, it's, it's that small. It's small, look. It's not, dude, this is a perfect EDC. I was, yeah, I was going to say, but EDC wise though. Ball bearings in there for the for the uh, the action, which clearly show. I mean, first that honestly, not many even knives when we take them out of the box do that. You know, usually we've got to fight with them a little bit. And very clean when you listen to it. Yeah, and I mean, it's also got the thumb stud if you want if you like to go that route. It's got like the honeycomb pattern, honey badger logo in the middle, and then it's got a little badger on the knife. It's a good looking blade. It really is. It is super deep pocket carry. So, kind of interesting to see. The actual clip kind of sits a little above the knife. Ooh. So, that is going to be deep in the pocket. Oh, and you got a little badger on the pocket clip, too. All right. I like this. It's a solid clip. You're coming at me with a name like Honey Badger. Honey Badger. I want some power. Honey Badger don't give a f Yeah, so let's get to it. Let's f*** this thing up. <sighs> Holy sh**. All right. You almost cut yourself because it grabbed your skin. Did you see me pull back? Yeah. You saw me like you back I up. pushed in and then pulled back a yeah. little bit. And bro, like, you whoa. have a patch, bro. Yeah. Look at that. That just grew back. Nice cut, G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is like an exact on knife. Look, I'll go slow. Ooh. Like you don't even need a force. It's got oh, this paper. It's got it's it starting. You know what it is? Is the blade's a little small. So like I keep pulling back. I was gonna take this corner right off. Oh. Oh. Mind you, be wife. <laughs> and I, I felt it cut in the wood too. That's the worst <laughs> part, best part. This thing's like a f***ing 
Wilderness Blade, bro. This is like what you meant. We like. Look at that. Let's just break it out because it's so small. That's only because I got it in the same spot. But yo, know, medium or large, yeah, man. might have been a different story. Quarter inch. So it packs a powerful punch for what it is. Little shit. Yeah. yeah, for a little shit, he does a pretty good job. Oh. I, I didn't hit that hard that time. And then it just leaned in. Yeah. It just f***ing makes its own path. That was kind of what I was trying to prove by going in the middle as opposed to like the exterior. Like, because it's just it just made its own rules. Yeah. The infamous D two. about the way you hit it. Bad positioning. There's a knot right there. Yeah, I'm gonna get through this bitch. So the lock gave but like on the knot at the right angle. I honestly don't think I could have recreated that if I tried. So it's clean. Oh, it's super fucking clean. All right. Last time we hit it a second time though. Yeah, yeah, hit it a second time. Let's spin. Haven't had that happen. That, dude, you, you could see how clean those cuts are. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this little size though, you really can, like, like, quick get in there. Yeah. Got too cocky. All right. I'm gonna throw my opinion out. And you throw your opinion out. It gets the sure, EDC you stamp. Say here, yours first. It gets the EDC stamp, hundred percent. Great little knife. I honestly want to carry this blade like this. No questions asked. As far as 
the Nat stamp, there was too many, like, catastrophic failures, all right? I wouldn't even use that word. Well, yeah, catastrophic, catastrophic would be a bit harsh all right, so, word. All right, so there's too many failures, though, in what, in what I see. Like, I, we gave one... Not too long ago, the stamp, even though it, the liner lock gave out once. Because On you know what? the tip test, because the tip is truly to test the tip, yeah. and not about the lock. It did fail twice on the tip test. It failed once on the batoning. Again, we hit a knot in the wood. It's kind of hard to <clears throat> judge it on that. The fact that it made it through the bag with that much ease is probably one of our best knives so far. I, I wouldn't even say probably. I'd say for sure. Yeah. What really kind of sealed the deal for me, though, honestly, was the rope. The first swing, it barely did anything. Second swing, it it started working its way through. But I don't know. Like The hard thing about the stamp is, is that we, are we really going to like not give a stamp to a knife that was is overall great just because it didn't cut through, what, half an inch of sizzle rope? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If this is the Nat stamp, it was like right there. You know what I mean? I will 100% give it the Jared stamp. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I will mm. carry this. It, it, it has everything you need. So, it did every EDC thing, made feather sticks really well, didn't baton great, but it's also the smaller version. The medium version will probably do that stuff, you know, with no problem. So, I don't want to sound like an exact repeat, but I mean, pretty much everything you said. I was actually completely on the same level with you. When it happened with the tip test, mm-hmm. we were already on board that it's about the tip. Yeah. So so we were not going to judge it that way. Yeah. When it happened with the batoning, again, I was like, but it's a knot. So I was still, at that point, I was willing to go nat stamp. It was the rope that when you got to three, that's our limit normally. Normally we go Good. a few extra just to see. When you went four and there was no difference, and then when you went five and there was finally a difference, that's when I was like, okay, see, now, even how you just said, I give it the Jared stamp, I'm going to be dead honest. I give it the EDC stamp, and I give it the Cody stamp as well. I mean, but we said that the Nat stamp was across the board. Yeah. We were willing to bypass it on two of those. Yeah. But once it got to three, we have to admit. And, yeah, and, and this... But, but, but last to say, though, I fully agree with your very last statement of, I think the medium would do it all. Really, I think the point I'm trying to get across is that, like, this technically got the Nat stamp if it didn't fail, like, the dumb... Minute... Mm, little things. Like, mm. It is but a great it, steel, great knife, great feel, great carry. Like it, it's just, just because it does not pass the NAT approval yeah. does not mean it's not a great knife. We say that all the time. Yeah. It's literally just a grading system that we invented, and it doesn't meet that standard. Yeah. But guess what? It's right below that standard, right there. Like saying, I know what everyone's gonna say is that you know, no knife should be cut through a can and through steel and. But that's the point of this, is to see what knives can, you know. This knife did a very good job, and I will be honest with you, that's going right next to my Zancudo and in my in my daily rotation. Yeah. We do have to give it a quick attempt at sharpening. Could try. Better than before. Yeah. Improvement. I think if sure. I had a little more time, it'd be I, I could really. But that's get this what they thing. say with D2, it just takes a little bit yeah. more. You yeah. Know? It's there. It just it, yeah, it just needs a little refining. Alright, so EDC stamp it for sure. Approval from both of us, just yeah. not the Nat stamp approval. Yeah, by a hair. I mean, by a hair. Like it's, it, I'm angry about it. If that's the only way to put it, I'm bummed. Let's put it this way: it's such a solid knife. I want to buy another one, just have a new one in my collection that we didn't beat beat up. Oh wait, oh the weight is nothing. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. that's a big jump from the Sativian. 
You know the drill. Like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Hit that bell. Um, Links down below. Other than that, New Each Tactical. Over and out.